Hey everybody, welcome back to Smash Pad's Top 10 Games of 2022. Uh, this is our number 9 game, Power Wash Simulator, as you can see here. Uh, I'm playing one of these special maps here, because uh, the one I'm currently on in the campaign through this playthrough on the Xbox version is... Uh, I would say spoilery towards some of the bigger narrative stuff. You might not expect there to be a narrative in a game called Power Wash Simulator, but there is, and it's a fun time. Uh, to be clear, I am uh, the person that put this as my top game of 2022. Uh, so, I'm the perfect person to speak on this game. And particularly, we are playing the PC version uh, this is the Xbox version, technically, uh, but I do not like the controller stuff on the Xbox console version. So I've been playing it on PC, working towards getting all the achievements. I'm making pretty good pace on that. Uh, so, yeah, having a lot of fun. And this is a game that I knew was probably my game of the year last year when it launched in early access in... Uh, uh, the summer of 2021. Uh, this is a game from Future Lab, uh, makers of Velocity and Velocity 2X, a game that you may not expect uh, a developer of that kind of game to make one like this. Uh, but yeah, this game, as you might expect, you're power washing stuff. Uh, you get all sorts of jobs. I, how do I get back up here? That's right, I get up here and I jump up here. There's some platforming in this game. Mostly light, kind of platforming stuff. You're not, you know, bunny hopping or anything. There we go. Uh, but you're given jobs. Lots of times, uh, like, it's like about half our locations to go to and wash off of uh, these various very dirty places. Uh, other times it is uh, vehicles that have been, I think most of them are brought to the garage that you have. There seems to be like a garage in your home. Uh, just judging from the way it looks. Uh, yeah, you're kind of going around washing stuff. Uh, you get different washers. So this is special mode, so they dictate the one that you have. There's four main ones that get progressively po more powerful. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, you get different extensions. So if I'm working mostly close uh, hand, I can go to a shorter extension. There's a various sort of nozzles. Since I'm on PC, I can use my mouse wheel to cycle between them. This is like a cleaner thing. Uh, so I can go and purchase different kinds of soaps. So they have stuff for, yeah, stone cleaners is better for, you know, stone, uh, concrete type of surfaces. Uh, wood is for, you know, wooden structures. I think there's a metal cleaner uh, and a couple others. You can buy that stuff in the shop. Uh, there's outfit stuff, nothing too amazing there, just mostly different kinds of colors and a couple of wild stuff. Same for uh, this thing itself, though uh, I am purely playing this for achievements, so I am min-maxing all that stuff. And so oftentimes you're going to want to play with this yellow uh, nozzle, because it gives you a nice enough size uh, spread here that is effective without, you know, uh, this, you know, I can clean with it, but it's not always going to get stuff. You might have to wipe uh, across or sweep across more often than the yellow, where you kind of get more stuff done like this. Uh, so, yeah, you're kind of going around doing these jobs. You start off with a, a very basic house, or no, backyard to the house uh, for this guy that starts telling you about himself and all this. Like every 20% you get completed. Uh, you can see that up in the top uh, left corner here. Uh, every 20%. Uh, you get a text from them that are sometimes just weird. Sometimes they're world building kind of stuff. Like this guy telling you things about himself and his house uh, that he bought. It's like, oh, this belonged to... Or, uh, you know, I used to date this girl, and this used to be her house or something like that. It's weird. It's a very weird thing. N the notion is that they are, uh, he and his kids are like watching this weirdo, because at the end of as as you complete this, you get a GIF version of you going around, you know, crawling around, cleaning stuff, 
all this kind of stuff, and it, it looks very goofy. Uh, and that's kind of one of the better parts of the game. Uh, so yeah, you're kind of going to go around. I tend to be very methodical, so I, I would start and clean off all of this, uh, go around, work my way around. Uh, and this is a mini golf course, so you start at hole number one. I think it's nine holes all the way up here. I can show you that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's just, it's very relaxing. It's a very kind of zen, chill kind of game. Uh, the audio you're hearing, I have it very tuned down, so if this sounds very uh, light uh, on the power wash audio, because if you've ever been around a power washer, uh, they're very loud. And the dings, the dings are the great part here, because as you go around and finish stuff, you get dings to let you know they're done. And they tend to be designed to happen uh, maybe around like 97 98 percent done as you can see the meter here uh, that is filling uh, or, or emptying as I get done with this and so neat, neat things they've done uh, this is sort of your list of all your stuff you're cleaning this is a very big uh, job here so if you get down to it and you're like oh I'm only you know I don't know what this is so I can click on that and it'll highlight it. So you can see it kind of flashing here lightly. So I can go over here and take that, take care of that. And that's very helpful when there are, you know, buildings and it's like, okay, it's saying I've got seven of these eight windows. Which window am I missing? And it'll highlight those and that makes it very easy to understand which one you need to fix. And the cool thing is like, I haven't finished this, so if I go, I wander off and do something else, I come back, it starts flashing again. So it's very smartly made. Um, this game that was in early access for about a year or so, I think it was summer or spring of 2021, it released, I think, September of this year. Uh, so it's kind of, yeah, and it's kind of be a little hard to get some of these edges here, but got that oh this bucket still needs cleaned and there are definitely some weird oddities here it's like this is not how a ball return thing would be but who knows uh they made a fun little miniature golf course and of course no self-respecting golf course would be uh nine holes it would be 18 holes but it's a game the devs uh you know pride themselves on not crunching or any of that stuff uh, so this is probably the best thing they can make in a reasonable amount of time it's not going to make you spend you know eight hours cleaning this one course and it's like comes through here some really neat looking core uh holes here with like this big cobra uh, and you come out here and it's like a medieval training area with you know these targets and all this and like you're supposedly supposed to hit it up to here and they you know, put a little block here so you can't just knock it around. You have to at least get it up to here. But if you can get it in here, you can potentially get it in the hole. But yeah, no golf course, but also the devs are British. They're from the UK, so they could be uh, a whole thing where maybe that's how that thing works. Oh, they left a ball in this hole, uh, so that's cool. I wonder if there's a way to get this up here. It's probably not. It's probably... Oh, there's... This one right here. I've never tried to knock this ball around. Then again, the hole, I don't think actually has a hole in it. Oh, gnomes. Gnomes are like a mascot of this game. If you ever look at the, the social media for the game, yeah, like there's a hole here that comes down to here. Oh no, that might actually work. That might actually work. Oh, that might be something I try at some point. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the game's just fantastic. It's really nice. It's very pleasurable uh, to come around and like oh, just clean up and you get to see how these different uh, very dirty places glow up as you clean them off uh, I think probably my favorite uh, without spoiling anything there's a subway uh, that has been abandoned for about 40 years and they decide to uh, have you clean it up so they can put it back into action and that's a that's a very fun one to see how it comes to life as you 
uh, clean it up. So yeah, this is a game that, uh, despite being called a simulator, is not that realistic. Obviously, your power, you know, I haven't run out. Uh, I think the characters have like a backpack kind of tank on them, and that never runs out. Uh, and you know, obviously, you wouldn't just use water for some of this stuff. Uh, and also things don't clean like this, but there's some jobs for like an antique vehicle where your character is jumping all around it on top of the the leather cloth interior kind of thing where you're like, this is not how a person would clean this car. You'd wash it like a normal person instead of a power washer on these vehicles kind of stuff. Uh, you know, there's a lot of weird stuff like that, but it also takes joy in being ridiculous and silly at times like one of the one of the other special courses special courses is just stuff that's not part of the career that's like a one-off thing you can do um uh there's a mars rover on mars and you know and of course they gotta have a little nod uh they're like f footprints foot tracks uh whatever word i'm trying to think of here but you can see that follow-up and you can follow it to like a little burrow kind of thing where like an underground burrow that aliens would live in. You know, that kind of thing. That's kind of neat. Uh, it's a little funny thing. Also, the story stuff. As I said, there's a story to this game. And this park is part of the story. There's a lot of uh, locations that are on this park. You're obviously not going to see them here because they, they put all their work into the this whole place. But... Uh, that's a fun whole thing is where you're like, oh, there's a skate park that they want to, you know, rebuild or re revamp or whatever. They have you clean it up, uh, that kind of stuff for an X Games kind of event, I think, despite it being shut down for the past 20 years or whatever. But you also see graffiti on it that uh, features initials of characters you've met or heard talked about in other text stuff. Uh, yeah, this is very unlike me how I play. I literally started at the beginning, worked around to each hole, cleaned all the areas around them. Of course, you can see like this grass is perfectly clean, but everything else is filthy. Like all this is filthy, but somehow this grass is perfectly fine. I didn't, I didn't do any of that beforehand. I didn't, I just jumped into this before we did the video. So, uh, but these devs do a great job of making this game feel so nice. It is a meaty game. I have over 120 hours in the Steam version of this game uh, because I played each uh, stage through early access up to the point that it hit 1.0 and I started over because I wanted to experience all that, you know, again and get all the achievements. I have all the Steam achievements and all those were pretty reasonable. Um, it's a lot of one-off stuff. I, I don't believe you're going to see any of this Xbox uh, thing. Yeah, no. Um, I'm looking at my achievements and it's like, oh, on this stage I have to knock over four buckets. So I'll go there. The first thing I do is I knock over four buckets. Some of them, there's an annoying one here kind of where it's like, clean this whole job using only the white nozzle. And I'll remind you, the white nozzle is the biggest one. And see how well that's cleaning this stuff? Look at that. That's... That's kind of annoying. I think it was especially because when I played the Steam version, that's when I got a very special nozzle uh, that I really wanted to use, but couldn't because I was on that stage and I wanted to get that achievement. It's not a big deal, but as you can see, I still remember that, so yeah. Uh, there's some uh, achievements designed around you know, avoiding doing certain things until the end. Uh, I think there was one where the, the very first interior job I had to uh, clean everything it was essentially it was part of this it was part of this building this was the toilet areas where it's kind of this mirrored whole underground thing uh, with some two toilets on one side two toilets on the other mirrors so there's also urinals across that are don't look like urinals I've ever used so maybe they're British urinals or could have been Russian I don't know but, yeah, there's a lot of story. And it goes in places that you might not expect. And they do world building in some fun ways. Where, like, maybe the mayor of this town has some 
weird history with it. Uh, and you find evidence that it's like maybe there's a weird familial uh, heritage to running this town. Because his father, grandfather, whatever, also was mayor in this town. That doesn't make any sense for mayorships. That's a, that's a that's a job that is, um, you know, elected, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, this is a game that I really like a lot. It is my favorite game of the year. I've been playing through it. I played through it essentially once in early access, once in 1.0. I'm going through that Steam version a third time because they did a cool. Uh, thing with the uh, uh, was it Oxford University for like a research edition where essentially as you play they stop and ask you questions about how you're feeling while playing the game all that kind of stuff uh, and you get special cosmetics out of that though from what I've seen they haven't finished what those cosmetics are going to be so you just get promise of oh you'll get you know uh, a new suit if you play this much of it, you know, and answer questions and all that kind of stuff. It's cool. Um, the console version, at least the Xbox console version, I do not recommend because it requires controller. They really should have keyboard support on the, the console version because um, I think this is the superior way that I can hit the C button. This is what you normally do. I'm not trying not to move it too much because it can be a little nauseous uh, inducing, but then they added this, like, lockdown mode. And I can still move as I'm doing this. I can go to the edges and move around. So if I'm trying to clean one area, you know, I can focus on that. I can sit here like a weirdo, just go just sweeping it back and forth and get this stuff clean a lot faster than a controller can ever do. Uh, it's super slow moving on an Xbox controller and I could uh, I gave it a shot. Uh, played a few different maps. Uh, remapped controls to be more like a first-person shooter because that seemed to make more sense with the way that that game was controlling. Um, but eventually just said like, yeah, I don't I don't think this is working too much for me. And that's a shame because obviously I love this game. I've played through it. Uh, I'm on a stage as wise well like three to four times. I'm working on finishing the playthrough here with this Xbox version. Uh, played through a third time on the Steam version with that uh, research edition. It's just an alternate like beta branch they have. It's the full game and all that, so uh, but that one I'm not worrying about achievements or anything, so I'm having a fun time with that. Oh, look at this guy. It's like a night thing. This is a neat looking course. There's a lot of cool things uh, I could go uh, probably bop out just real quick. We're almost done here. Uh, yeah, main menu. I'll go into free play because this will show stuff I've already done. So yeah, this is the first one you do. It's this like backyard area. That's kind of cool. Uh, but everything's disgusting. Uh, and you go and do this house and this house. You notice these this Muckingham is the the location of the city you're in for most of this. Um, and it's like stuff like this. This is uh, Martha Hubbard's shoe house. Uh, where she runs a pl uh, preschool or a play school for kids kind of thing. And do they show the... They don't show the text, do they? You get text from them, and the kids steal her phone and send you uh, a message about, like, I'm going to go poop. I did it. You know, very silly things. It's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously, but takes itself seriously in the way that matters, uh... And so, yeah, it's a, it's a very fun game. It's a very relaxing, enjoyable game. It's a game that I love just spending time in. Uh, I haven't necessarily, like, been, like, a person to come back and, like, redo a bunch of stuff. Uh, or, like, play it in free mode just for the heck of it. I would rather start over because I think the, the unlocking of things, uh, new washers and extensions... Uh, and even the cosmetic stuff is very fun and part of the fun because like the the current playthrough here on Xbox is very min maxi, so I'm trying to spend as little as I can 
Uh, but yeah, this money goes into my my career currency. I, it's hard for me to point at it. There it is. Uh, that goes into the shop here uh, for that stuff. So yeah, here's the the different washers. So we're stuck with oh, we're stuck with this one, uh, the second most expensive. And here's your Pro, uh, that kind of stuff. And the cool things they do a lot of stuff like here. Like here's all the extensions for this, cause yeah. Uh, if I go into here, it's all lumped together, and there's another one that will unlock here. I think it's the last one that will unlock. Uh, but here's all the different liquids, plastic cleaner, metal, glass, stone, multi-purpose wood, uh, all the different cosmetic gloves and such. So you get a lot of basic color stuff. Yeah, all these outfits are basic colors. But this has six-player multiplayer, so you can join up with friends and work together and do that stuff, but that works for you. Uh, here's like all the the skins for the the sprayers, which is cool, but I'm obviously spending all my money on uh, that last extension. I think it's five thousand, something like that. It's pretty expensive, so that's why I'm not spending too much uh, money on extensions, even though that would make it easier to get through some of this stuff real fast. Oh, how am I missing this? I I didn't even show you this. I can hit tab and show all the dirt. So I can be like looking, oh, it's under this knob. Okay. That's that's a vital thing. But I've been not shown too much because one, it's a flashy thing. So just in but I think this is probably not an episode epilepsy ish kind of thing. Though I do wish they had color options for this. Uh, because you see how it's orange? You'll go clean, you know, yellow, orangish uh, items. I mean, this is kind of orangish. You can see how it kind of blends into the the main. So if you're uh, not cleaned everything, it can be kind of hard to see some of this stuff at times on very select things. So there's there's some not great things about this. I would hope the devs get that at some point, but they're also working on. I hate that it bops you out of the this thing every time I go to run. It's the curse of that, but oh well. Yeah, this is a very fun course, uh, but yeah, it's not part of the main progression, uh, as I showed here. Uh, they do have challenge mode. It's a neat little thing. It's not really all that great. I only did it for achievements uh, on Steam. I'll have to do it here. You have to get five golds. And there's very specific ones that are easier to get than others. And there's ones that are time and the amount of uh, water you use. Those are real tough because it's... It's tough to limit yourself, but also they don't have leaderboards for this, so I would love to see like who's used the least amount of water to clean this truck. That's like one of the first things. That's literally your truck. It's... Wait. Is the truck not here? I guess it wouldn't be here, because they didn't... You're not going to drive a truck into a park. But it's usually somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it isn't here. I can't walk too far. Yeah, I'm blocked off here. Um, but you see it on most of the, the stuff. Ooh, look at this horse. Oh, that's a nice horse. Yeah, this, it's a perfect game for a chaotic time where I want to chill and enjoy things. Power Wash Simulator, right here. Uh, they have PlayStation and Switch versions coming out next year, early next year, I think. Uh, as well as some... There's a content update they had planned to announced a date a few weeks ago and they delayed it at the last minute realizing they wouldn't be able to hit the date so that's coming out early next year alongside probably the PlayStation 5, PS4, and Switch versions so there you go uh, and they also did they do fun little tournaments on the Discord uh, for the game for people to vote on maps they want in the game they just they just finished uh, one so I, I assume it's two locations and two vehicles uh, though they picked winners, obviously, but I, th I think the top two finalists for each type are going to be in the game proper. So there you go. Let's get one more ding. One more ding. How am I missing the ding? Oh, there's stuff on the sides. Oh, I need my dings. I need my dings. Oh, I probably missed stuff under here. Yep. I just want a quick ding. There we go. There's, I can sit here and jump. Yeah, I can push the right mouse button in to just have it keep spraying. So, yeah, there's a lot of good, 
a lot of good stuff here. For just, hey, just spray it now, figure it out. There we go. There's our ding. All right, so, yeah, that's Power Wash Simulator. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay tuned for more of the videos for our top 10 for 2022. And uh, see you next time.